But this is this right here is about making a decision based on heartbreak or difficulty, strife, okay, painful situations, rough situations, things that deplete you, things that leave you high and dry, whatnot, whatever. And getting into alignment with yourself that happens to be something brand new or at least something different than you've done in the past. Your alignment has changed, but it's changed for the better. And it, it is all about using this three of swords energy to adjust your alignment to move in a direction that's better for you at this moment. Hey everybody, happy Monday. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So, this is going to be your general energy reading for your day or for your moment, whenever this finds you. Yeah, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Uh, and this is still a timeless reading. This could resonate for you at any moment, yeah? So, happy Monday. I hope you guys had a good weekend. Uh, it hit me this morning that we are in the last week of September. And then it hit me that we're in the last week of September and I haven't even thought about the monthlies. So hate to break it to you, but those of you that are looking forward to the monthlies or whatnot, whatever, I have no plans on doing them. <laughs> like, no. Uh, number one, I just don't feel like it. I'm not in the mode for it. Um, it's a lot of extra work that doesn't really seem to pay off. I guess, the way that it used to, and it's crazy because I don't even want to say it that way. Because that makes it sound like I'm doing it to get something. But if the exchange isn't balanced, like that's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And I don't skimp, or I, I don't really, I haven't skimped on those readings because, um, you know, they were a time for us to connect or at least for me to connect with each individual sign on a one-on-one on, one -on -one basis um, and really like have an extended conversation. But the fact of the matter is the viewership just is not there. To constitute all of that extra energy and time and effort. Again, I, 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 don't, I don't like talking about it this way because it makes it sound like I, it, I'm, it makes it sound like I'm doing it you know, to get something out of it, but there has to be an even exchange. So there's that. So I, and, and, and on top of that, like I hadn't even thought about it. I, I kind of, oh, well, I haven't even thought about it. And so when I realized this morning where we were in terms of like the month and everything, I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, I guess that's not just gonna, that's just not gonna happen. But I will say this, if you are looking for individualized sign readings, of which I am going to do more of, I'm just not gonna do them in the monthly format that I've been doing them. Um, but if you are looking for those messages, I would recommend that you check out Mystic Unicorn, uh, which is my second channel. Link can, uh, yes, I can put a pop box up in the screen and links can be found in the description box and the pinned comment below. Uh, but that's, I mean, that's a love channel. I mean, I technically, I focus the messages in the realm of love and relationships. So potential partners, your current partner, whatnot, whatever. But love messages and love readings don't always just talk about relationships. Uh, sometimes we're talking about the relationship with yourself. Sometimes we are talking about friendships, uh, business partnerships, creative relationships, or, or business, to be honest, because oftentimes love bleeds into all of that stuff because your level of acceptance of love and like your relationship with yourself and everything can have an influence, whether good or bad, on everything else in your life. So, so I would recommend that you check out that channel if you haven't done so already. Um, that I have a schedule for so like t it's Monday. So Mondays are earth days So we'll, I'll be putting out earth sign readings today um, And then throughout the week I put it out there the, the schedule is there Mondays are earth Tuesday is air Wednesday is Ophiuchus Thursday is water Friday is fire. So Check that out. There's a there's two weeks worth three weeks now Of those messages there So check that out 
also, and it makes, it really kind of makes sense since I've made that shift into going, do using Mystic Unicorn as that space to do that and having that schedule, it makes more sense for me to just keep it there instead of trying to do extra, extra here. Like, no, <laughs> no, 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 mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. nope, not happening. Anyway, so there's that. Alrighty, y'all, but I hope you had a good weekend, and get ready, because October is coming, guys. Yes? All right, here we go. We're going to get into this message for today. Keep in mind, you guys, that this is a timeless reading, all right? So this doesn't have to resonate right now. It may not resonate for you at all, but give it a listen, and maybe it does. Yeah? Here we go. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of the situations, situationships, romances, relationships, circumstances, and places in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, guys. So um, let's give this five shuffles. But what I'm seeing for the collective right now, this is one. At first, I saw orange, and it was a very bold and bright and beautiful color orange. This is two. Orange is the color of the solar plex. No, I'm sorry. O orange is the color of the sacral chakra. This is, these are your, this is the home of your emotions and your emotional body. Okay, this is three. Now, what I was feeling for the orange energy was confidence, and I'm hearing self-confidence, all right? This is four. So either you're in an energy where you're just feeling better. I know I am. Last week was a fucking doozy, okay? But either you're just feeling better, this is five, and you're feeling more confident, you're feeling more expressive. Uh, but then I started to see blue which is the color of your throat chakra. And um, because of this comfortable energy that I felt within the orange, and then I saw the blue, I was like, okay, so somebody here is confident enough, feeling good enough, feeling themselves enough to communicate, either communicate what it is you're feeling in your solar, uh, in your sacral chakra or in your emotions, in your emotional body, or you're just feeling better, you're feeling confident, and you're communicating about something. Or you're just being open, you're being happy, you're being fun, you're you're laughing, you're telling jokes, you blah, 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 that kind of energy right now, okay? And these are all good things. Now, there could be some confrontations that do arise, yes, thank you, Spirit, because of what it is you or someone else may have to say. However, I don't think that's a bad thing. Honestly, I think it's a good thing. And if it can be handled in a mature way like it say let's say you have something to say you're feeling confident you're feeling good you want to express you want to talk make sure that you do that in a diplomatic mature level headed headed balanced manner right don't go like popping off whatnot whatever if someone else is coming at you like this like they're feeling confident they're feeling expressive whatnot whatever listen don't listen to argue, listen to understand, okay? And take it seriously, all right? Especially if somebody has been in an energy lately of just keeping to themselves, not really wanting to talk about it, now all of a sudden they feel ready to talk about it, then honor that. Let them express themselves. Let them say what they need to say, you know, and hear them. Work on really hearing them, all right? Now, I, again, some confrontations could arise, but it depends on the nature of the conversation you're about to have, all right? So... You know, try and keep it, try and keep it civil, kids, right? Okay. Cool. So let's get into this. What's going on for the collective? What message do we have for the collective today? Okay. Oop. All right. 
at the bottom of the deck, overall energy, you have the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like someone is ready to start working. Or at least starting to get something done. Um, we have a number of cards here. Most of them have fallen face up, which is good. Um, two of them have fallen face down. So energy is on the surface of the situation for you right now. The first card that came out is the Nine of Wands in reverse. And this feels like a resistant energy. Um, but with the Nine of Wands in reverse, it feels like it was a resistant energy in the past. And now someone is... It's almost as if someone is surrendering. Someone is taking a step back. Someone is putting down the fight. Someone is putting down the boundaries. Uh, there is a level of surrender here with the Nine of Wands in reverse, waving a red flag. I'm sorry, waving a white flag, right? With that, you have the Six of Wands, okay? So there's some sort of victory here. And, and honestly, you guys, the first thing that I'm feeling with this Six of Wands is communication. So again, if somebody has been... Or if you or someone around you has been in an energy of really keeping to themselves, especially if this is a romantic situation, or at least this is someone very, very close to you who you wouldn't normally experience something like this with, right? Um, it feels like it feels like this person took a lot of time. The reason why this Nine of Wands energy was here is because this person was taking time really trying to think it over. But they weren't really trying to change their, their way of working or they weren't trying to change their approach. They were persisting in the energy or in the trajectory or in the direction that they had been moving in, right? But underneath the surface, there feels like there, was, there has been this energy of them trying to figure out what is best to do. And they weren't going to change their approach until they came to a specific understanding of what could happen, what how things could change, how you could move forward, whatnot, whatever. With this, okay, with this, you have the Ace of Wands and then you have the Four of Pentacles. So what I want to say here is somehow someone has uh, dodged a burden because with the ace to the nine, that would create the ten. All right? So it feels like maybe... It feels like maybe there was a, a situation where somebody here was about to... Not about to. Well, I, I guess we could say it that way because this is a general reading. It feels like someone was about to take on more than they could handle, bite off more than they could chew. Case in point... Oh, case in point, me saying that I didn't want to do the monthly readings. I'm not doing the monthly readings the way I did for September and beyond. Not doing it. Because it's burdensome and there isn't enough exchange for me to really spend my time and energy doing it. Also, to, to also like other than working on Mystic Unicorn, I have another, I have a bunch of other stuff that I'm exploring now because this you guys this is a big time of change and we've all been seeing 555 everywhere you can't sit here and tell me you're watching this video and you haven't been seeing 555 everywhere okay you're lying to yourself <laughs> okay so with that i am allowing myself to move through that change and whatever that change is i'm going with the flow right in the past i would have just persisted and said to myself nope eric sit your ass down and get those monthly readings out there why? It's not like it's the most viewed thing on my channel. So why would I put so much effort into that when, I, when it's not necessary, right? So giving up that fight, surrendering that is a victory for me. A personal victory, you could say. And then with the Ace of Wands and the Four of Pentacles, 333 three, three on the counter, Ace of Wands, Four of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles doesn't feel bad. The Four of Pentacles actually feels like a solid foundation within yourself. So this person who has been persisting in a certain vein, okay, in a certain way in the past has changed that. But the reason that they've changed that is because they've become solid and grounded in who they are now and what it is they want to do, or at least knowing what it is that they don't want to do. This Four of Pentacles feels like it's just a solidified foundation. 
ready to move forward with. Like this is that moment. So you know how you guys, I, I talk about with the four of wands, right? If you've been following me long enough, you know that I consider the four of wands to be that moment where you're building a house from scratch. You dug the, the, the you, you know, you dug up the, the, the earth in the, in the space that you're building the house. You pour your concrete foundation. You let the foundation dry. Excellent. Well, you can't just start building on the foundation as soon as it's dry because then you still have to allow it to settle into the earth a little bit more so that you're ready to go, so that it's real safe and stable. Nothing is going to change while you're continuing to build the rest of the house, blah, 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 444 four, four on the counter, right? The four of pentacles here feels like that moment when the foundation is solidified and now you can really start to build the rest of your house, okay? Whatever that means for you. And this house is just, let's just call it your future. And there is a big change. So with this emotion, the emotions here, the emotional body, first of all, I will say that I feel much better emotionally today than I did last week. That full moon in Pisces wrecked me, okay? But it was good because it helped me to see something from a point of view that I had never seen it before, which actually did a lot to get me out of some of that energy, out of some of that constant mindset that was playing over and over again in my head. Okay. So with this emotional body and the feelings of being expressant or wanting to express, feeling ready to be expressive, it feels like someone is ready to either communicate or move forward or both. Communicate and move forward. Maybe moving forward is communicating. Like whatever, five, five, five on the five, 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 five on the counter, right? Okay. Uh, but the theme here, the overall energy, is the eight of pentacles and the star underneath that. Yeah, so okay. I mean, you have the Eight of Pentacles to the star, followed by the Two of Wands, the Three of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and then the Page of Wands. All right, so this is all about, that. first of all, so much Wands energy. But this, is, this right here is about making a decision based on heartbreak or difficulty, strife, okay, painful situations, rough situations, things that deplete you, things that leave you high and dry, whatnot, whatever. And getting into alignment, a, 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 a getting into alignment with yourself that happens to be something brand new or at least something different than you've done in the past, okay? Your alignment has changed, but it's changed for the better. And it, it is all about using this Three of Swords energy, this painful situations, the heartbreak, the fear, the whatever, using that to adjust your alignment to move in a direction that's better for you at this moment. Page of Wands is that new creative direction or a new... Uh, uh, like a message, there's some, so the page of wands could be a representation of communicating, right? Telling someone how you feel, telling someone what's on your mind, telling someone what's been going on for you, okay? Now there is a theme of work here, or at least working towards a goal. You have at the bottom of the deck, well, this is all at the bottom of the deck, but the, the top part of it is the star and the eight of pentacles. So I do feel like you're working towards something here. It feels mysterious. It feels slightly up in the air. There's some, there's some definition to it. It does feel like there's some, there's at least a solid enough definition to it for you to keep moving in that direction. Obviously you don't necessarily know how it's gonna happen or you know, what not whatever, but it feels, there is a level of confidence here. Okay, and, it, and you may have come to a, a realization that what it is you have been working towards in the past is not really truly what you dream of. Maybe you made a decision based on some painful situation, some heartbreak that shifted your alignment. But again, it shifted your alignment for the better. Queen of Wands. Because there is something better for you to be working towards. And if it weren't for the... See, this is how sneaky the universe can be. And I mean that with all due respect. Okay? Because I... Listen. You understand. I understand. Humans... Humans are difficult, okay? We're like those angsty teenagers. 16, not even freaking legal yet, and we're, and we're trying to bust out of the house like we know everything in the world. Bitch, sit your ass down, right? <laughs> okay, but it was this Three of Swords energy that helped you shift your alignment. It was from this place 
this place of heartbreak, pain, strife, whatever, that finally pushed you to say, okay, time to do something different, two of wands, time to make a different decision. And then I, I really don't get any sort of laziness here, okay? I feel like there's enthusiasm. Whatever it is you're working towards now, you're excited about it. Or at least you're excited enough to be engaged, okay? Cool. So there are two more cards at the bottom. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, that have fallen face down. Energy is uh, underneath the surface. What the fuck? At what? The four of cups and the two of swords? The hell does that mean? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> sorry, guys. Um, this is a past energy. This is where you were. This is where you were underneath the surface. Okay? This is your internal dialogue. And what I'm getting with this is with the Two of Swords here, you were blocked out. Maybe we're, maybe we're talking about what happened for the Collective last week. Um, because this definitely feels, it, it, it has res, uh, uh, like a bit of a, a resemblance of, you know, what I experienced last week, what a lot of us experienced last week. But with the Two of Swords and the Four of Cups here, the Two of Swords is your was your outward focus, or maybe this is where you still are. So, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This makes sense. Now this really makes sense. You could find yourself anywhere in this situation. Either you have come out of hiding or you're still in this hiding, okay? So either you're still here and you're moving towards the rest that we spoke of or you sufficiently moved out of this energy. But the two of swords was your outward focus. You weren't trying to look, you weren't trying to see, hear, accept anything from the external, okay? No love. No condolences, no hi, how you doing, no hey, kid, what's up, are you okay, no suggestions, no advice, no input, especially from those that weren't even asked to, to begin with. That, actually, somebody here, or uh, maybe a number of you, were so adamant about not accepting anything from the external because you have... A, a, a select few, maybe one or two or more, that are those types of people that pick up on something is wrong. Okay, they can obviously, they can see it in your face. It's not that hard to see, right? Or you're just distant and quiet. But then they come up in here talking about, well, you should do this, 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 and this. And then the, and then the response was, I really don't remember asking for your advice. I really don't remember asking for your input. Like, thanks, but no thanks. You know, but with that said, that's the two of swords energy. But with that said, the four of cups and I was, I, I was guided to use this deck specifically. And with this four of cups energy, um, you have this mermaid and this young boy. I feel like you were having an internal dialogue the whole time. It's not like you were sitting there on your hands, moping, feeling sorry for yourself. No, you shut everyone out you shut all shut out all the noise okay all the superfluousness all of the interjection all of the distractions you shut all of that out and you went in you went within and you had a conversation with yourself and you said what in god's name is in front of me and why don't i like it why don't I want to be a part of this anymore? Why do I not want to accept any of this anymore? And this mermaid is representing like your spirit guides or your higher self or your ancestors, whatnot, whatever. Uh, you know, individuals that passed over to the, that crossed over to the other side and, you know, they, they guide you now, best friends, whatnot, maybe even a select few of physical people. But I feel like this was a, mostly an internal dialogue. But it was from this moment, two of swords, four of cups, why do I, what is it that I have around me and why don't I like it? That you were able to emerge, surrender, come out with, of your victory or come out of that in a victorious way because you are solid, stable, your foundation is dry and set and now you can, can, you can, now you can move forward. Okay. Now, for some of you, I feel like you're still um, that standoffish type energy. You're still kind of like, yeah, why don't you stay over there? Hi, nice to see you. Yeah, I'm back. Woo! 
uh, stay over there. <laughs> you know, um, that, that's, that is perfectly valid. Okay. Because that's coming again, four of pentacles, this four of pentacles is representing solid solidity, a solid foundation. So if you still are keeping a number of people at arm's length, good on you because you learned a lesson there and you're coming from that place of understanding, being solid, being found, uh, grounded, being secure and understanding who you are at this time or at least what you are feeling at this time, having a greater understanding of what it is you've been feeling. And if there's some fuckery, some bullshit that happened with certain individuals that you are now keeping at arm's length, good on you because you are protecting your sense. Well, first of all, I heard you're protecting your sanity. <laughs> but also you're you're protecting your sense of foundation now and there are certain people that have been around you that are toxic that only help to shift you out of that foundation okay keep in mind anytime you hang out with certain people or you go do go to certain places or do certain things if it completely throws you off of your foundation or your grounding and you have to take an extended amount of time just to get that back Shit, you can cut them people off right now, man. Cut them motherfuckers off because it is not worth it. Mm-hmm. Yay. Let's get some clarification. Let's go a little bit deeper. And to be honest, uh, three. Three shuffles. One. Uh, to be honest, I really just want to see, I want to go a little bit further, and I just want to see what's next. This is two, because this is all pretty self-explanatory, right? What we just talked about, and this is three. So I'm really just curious to see what's next for the collective here, yeah? In this energy. All right, cool. Cool, man, cool. All right, here we go. What's, ooh. All right, what's next for the collective, please, spirit? Oh, What? <gasps> Whoa. Okay. Bottom of the deck, you have the devil. What the actual fuck? Okay. Hold on. The devil is at the bottom of the deck. Uh, oh, no, don't do that. Um, cause I want to know this came, this came out on top of this card. So one of the first cards that came out face up. Is the Eight of Wands in reverse? Uh, not no movement forward, or at least I want to say stopping a certain trajectory. Okay, you have the Eight of Wands in reverse, but then you also have the Three of Pentacles. All right, we have this one card that came out. It fell face down, but it fell on the Eight of Wands. It's the wheel. Oh, I get it. It's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. One more card that's also fallen face down. Oh, shit. It's the Ten of Cups. All right, so this is clarification. This is further clarification of the energetic state that you are in or this person is in right now. Eight of Wands in reverse. Ten of Cups. I'm sorry, uh, the, the, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So there is a, a, a certain trajectory a certain movement, a certain direction that you were moving in or someone was moving in that they are not moving in any longer. Because in this Four of Cups, Two of Swords energy where you cut, shut out the outside world and you went within and had a conversation with yourself, you realized the toxicity, the devil. Underneath the devil is the Ten of Swords. Underneath the Ten of Swords is the Four of Cups. Okay, there's that Four of Cups again, right? So you came to an understanding of something that was toxic, something that needed to come to an end. I'm not gonna say it was toxic, but case in point, the monthly readings, it just, it was burdensome. It wasn't toxic, but it was codependent. It was a codependent situation, okay? I will say that. I mean, it, the, the, the degree to how codependent it is, is up for debate, okay? But there was an energy of codependency, right? But in recognizing that it I wasn't in me, I was not in alignment with it, I just straight up didn't want to do it, I stopped. I said, no, we're just not doing it. Ten of Swords and the Devil. You ba I basically told the Devil, you can go fuck off. 
and get his messages somewhere else, <laughs> right? Okay, so now you have the Eight of Wands in reverse and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. The reason why this movement, this trajectory, this direction you had been moving in, Nine of Wands, right? The reason why this has stopped is because you're no longer willing to ride that karmic hamster wheel any longer over this situation. And this is in service of mastering yourself, of self-mastery, of building something new that will lead to greater happiness, Ten of Cups. And actually, whatever it is, and for, for a select amount of you, depending on what it is you're deciding to move forward with or depending on what it is you're deciding to work with right now, ultimately, in the long run or in the grand scheme of things, that could end up to be a better thing, not just for yourself, but the whole collective. But that's where the resistance comes in, or the resistance, that's, that's the, where the, 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 the release of the resistance comes in. That's where the surrender comes in. That's where the 555 energy comes in. Because God, source, creator, or the spirit, or the universe here, with all these shifts that are happening within humanity, is trying to get us to change the game. Not do things the same old way not work towards the same old thing, not feed into the same old system that keeps giving us these results that are filled with nothing but oppression and suffering, right? No, we're not doing that any longer. We're not going in that direction anymore. Instead, we're working on ourselves, three of pentacles. We are working on our self-mastery. We are working on what is right for us individually to master ourselves, to be a better version of ourselves than we were in the past. And sometimes that absolutely requires, a lot of the time, it absolutely requires releasing yourself from the karmic cycle. Change the game, switch it up. And ultimately, again, in the long run, that could turn out to be best for everybody, not just for yourself. See, but spirit, God, source, creator, the divine, they know that. They see it because they have that big picture view. We are here. We are centrally focused. We are, we've got blinders on, you guys, in this three, and then, that's not bad, okay? But in this three-dimensional reality where we are experiencing a level of separateness in order to learn about ourselves as individuals to then come back to the collective, we've got blinders on. And those blinders are the frame of mind or the frame of focus of this physical incarnation, and what your perception of that incarnation or this incarnation is, right? Blinders. That's okay. It's supposed to be that way. Okay, maybe not. Okay, Spirit just said centrally focused. All right, maybe we don't have blinders on, but we're centrally focused. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, uh, closing oracle guidance. Crystal Mandala. My good old Crystal Mandala. Let me tell you guys something. This was one of the first decks that I got to use when I started this channel. And this deck has been with me throughout the whole situation. I have a lot of decks. I have a lot of decks, you guys. Um, but, and there are certain decks that I've been using, like this one and the Lightworker Oracle. These two have been the consistent ones that I've used throughout the years. But this one, this is my OG. I love this deck, okay? Anyway, that was a total tangent sidebar. All right, here we go. Let's get this closing oracle guidance for today, yeah? Five shuffles here, one, two, you know what? We're just gonna do three, yeah. This is two. And three. All right, here we go, kids. Here we go. Right, Chia. Uh, card number, card number four. Four of pentacles, four of cups, card number four. Archangel Melchizedek deck and Selenite. Divine perfection. Ooh, turned right to it. Okay, here we go. 
We bring you the gift of divine perfection. As you receive our gift, you will feel a wave of great peace move through your heart and mind. You will know that you are exactly as you are designed, divinely designed to be, that your life is proceeding in perfect timing, and that all is well. If there has been a matter causing you concern, allow us to bless that, that situation with, a peaceful, with the peaceful grace of the divine now. You shall receive the perfect resolution of that matter in accordance with unconditional love. There is no need to judge yourself for any decision or choice you have ever made. Forgive yourself and others now. There are so many blessings for you to receive and no need for you to hold on to anything out of fear, shame, guilt, or regret. Free yourself as you surrender into realization of divine perfection. Yes, in diddly do. So there you have it, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm sending you all so much freaking love. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee very soon. Yes? Fantastic. Take care. Bye. <laughs>